What's up, everybody? Today, again, <laughs> we're going to talk about Pothos Devil's Ivy, different ways that you can use it in your tank. What does it do? Is it helpful? And how does it look? I think it looks cool. But that's for you guys to judge. Let's go see what we got. Here we go. Bam. All right, so I'm going to show you how this is put in the tank. It's nothing fancy. Just kind of wedged in there. You guys can see we've got new growth. That's what all this is right here. And I want you also to notice how this plant grows. It grows just in a bunch. So it's all bunched together. Not real viney. And how you get this to happen is you simply lay it on a surface like this and it'll grow in a bunch just like that. Now as far as how this goes in the tank. What the See all those roots? <laughs> and you see the plant. Some of it's underwater. It does rot away a little bit when you do have it underwater. Uh, so if you could just get the roots in there, it'll work great. But uh, root structure is massive. My fish hide behind it. They're hiding right now behind something else. Uh, those are Nicaraguan cichlids. In case you guys were wondering, nobody asked, but I thought I'd tell you anyway. That's a huge piece of Troya. This is a five foot tank. And that Troya is probably about three and a half feet, more or less. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you one way of doing it. Just kind of wedge it back here between the glass. And, you know, the plant itself will, will hold itself up in there. See that? So, now that I showed you that one, let's show you the big one. And this little, right, this little runner right here, or there's like two or three. Um, actually came off the next plant that I'm about to show you. Let's go look. Whoa. <laughs> All right, to give you an idea of the size of this plant, that's a six foot light. That's an eight foot tank. And let me show you how it's put in here. I do have bamboo in here. It's finally starting to take off. Uh, this bamboo has been in here for quite some time. It just hasn't done anything. Um, all right, so as far as, I mean, this is it all of what you see in there that's all that's in here and those three little stalks right there created all this so if we follow the runners there's three of them follow one over here goes up and that is about I don't know four feet off the water and then you know we have another runner you guys can see when you get these little stubs in here it means you got a healthy plant and that one, oh, this light's about two feet off the water, more or less. Um, trying to find this one stock so I can show you exactly where it goes. So it comes, that one there comes up this way, goes up, and then I have one leaf stuck in there. And it comes back down, comes this way, back around and under, and then back up. And you can see it's growing that way so if you can hang your plant it'll grow out and see the separation here how the other one was really clumped up from this leaf to this leaf and that's the difference when you get it hanging is it it, it stretches trying to find that you know uh, trying to find that next thing to cling on to so it can continue growing and you know I'll wind up taking that end over there and probably stretching it across over here and you're probably wondering, well, how does the top of that get light? Well, photos don't need a lot of light to grow. Uh, they're pretty simple to grow. Um, most of the light that it's getting is just coming off of this. Boom! And that's a beams work light. Uh, it's one of their plant lights. And uh, get those on eBay, they're extremely inexpensive. So, um, yeah, that's the difference between growing it on a surface where it's just laying there uh, versus hanging it. And you can see, like, you know, there's not a leaf from there all the way to there, which is about a foot and a half or so, about 18 inches. Um, and, I mean, this thing just goes and goes and goes. You can see all the new growth right here. No leaves. It's just growing. So it's outstretching and uses these little nubs right here that you see. That's actually what he uses to hang on, kind of like a, kind of like a, eh, like a hook, you know, it'll, it'll grab onto something. So, what do you guys say we propagate this thing, 
move it to another tank. We'll cut the end off somewhere. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So give me a second, let me get some scissors, and then we'll do that. All right, so I disconnected this part. Now propagating, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Count three leaves back from the end. So that's not a leaf. We got one leaf there, we follow up, we go to two. We go around over here, and then we find three, okay? So you see the fourth leaf right here. We're gonna take this and cut it right here in the angle. Uh, don't cut it straight, cut it at an angle. All right, so let me get my trusty scissors and this is gonna fall in the water. Boom, there it goes. And you can do this with um, your grandma's plants, whoever, just go three leaves back. Just like that, one, two, three, okay? And then what we're gonna do is take this end and stick it in the water. Just like that, okay? Again, this plant is just hanging here on the side, just like this. And then you're gonna see that same root structure start to form on here. About a day or two, you start noticing the roots coming out. It's gonna look like that in here. Cool, huh? The fish are gonna come up, investigate it. If you do have fish that uh, like to eat plants, like severums, uh, some cichlids will disturb them, uh, silver dollars, that kind of stuff. You don't want to do this. You want to do this. Cool, huh? Look at the giant plecos. Look how big they are. That guy there is about 18 inches. That one there is about 17 inches. Yeah. Give me an idea. Those giant daniels swimming by right there are about 2 inches. So, there's some big fish. A little green terror female and then an electric blue car anyway this tank is just so much fun so much life always something going on everything is running and hiding they usually all come up here when i start to feed and this is a breeding pair of electric blue cars sorry it's acrylics not not clean but um female there and the male he's like hey you're with my eggs you stay away from my eggs. I got no problems with these fish in here. And those are all the eggs right there. See them all wiggling? Uh, focus. 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 See all the wigglers? Uh, I haven't bred these yet, um, specifically. And obviously in a tank like this where there's Jack Tempsey's and Green Terrors and uh, Severums and Silver Dollars and Giant Danios and everything that's in here. That's just simply not going to work. That's the King Koopa, the tank right there, the male Jack Dempsey. He is uh, more or less about five inches long. Severum there is about six and seven inches as they chase each other off. Little baby Severum from fire mouth. So, anyway guys, there's the tank. That's what pothos, that's how it grows in your aquarium. Benefits of this plant. Benefits are really simple. They are nitrate eaters. I mean, they suck it up. These plants right here grow, I would say about four inches a day, uh, just sucking up those nutrients out of the water. The way that this is set up, you can do this with gravel. Uh, I chose to use the, uh, the uh, aquaponics clay balls just because the roots have a little easier time moving around. But, uh, the way this is set up, just a Tupperware thing that I used here, it's got, I don't know, eight holes drilled in the bottom of it, and water can actually seep through that little gap between the cinder block and this, and water slowly moves through it. It's not, uh, uh, I don't just have water rushing through it. You want it to slowly go through so it, you, all the water that's in there just sucks up all those nutrients. I mean, the plant will suck up the nutrients that, that's in that water. So the water does move through. You have no issues there. You can do it one of two ways. You can drill the holes in the side if you want a little bit more flow. I chose to do the bottom yeah, because it works. And uh, there you go, made my little bamboo. And it's finally starting to grow. That probably looks familiar. It's one of those PetSmart deals. They had a clearance on them, so I decided, yeah, I'll buy one. So I bought one, threw it in there, and 
Uh, I've been in there six months, and I have three new leaves coming in. Maybe four or five, six. Six new leaves coming in. See the little things down there? So, I don't know. Bamboo and I just don't, don't get along. Don't know why. Just not working out. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Check us out on Facebook, Psychotic Aquatics. Uh, you can give us a thumbs up on there and join the group uh, for the discussions. And uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions about Devil's Ivy or Pothos, as it's known, um, leave it in the comments, and I answer every one. I don't think I've missed one yet. So want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the button right there, and we'll talk to you all later. Peace! Say bye, buddy. Say bye with your big self. You say bye? You're going to say bye? Oh, is he bothering you? Can you say bye? Say bye. Later.